A Class 4A softball sectional championship has been on the line tonight at Harrison as the home team Raiders went up against the defending state champion McCutcheon Lady Mavericks. To the fifth inning, another terrific game between these two. A scoreless game, and we pick things up in front of a huge crowd. Short fly ball to center field. McCutcheon's Kaylee Smith makes the diving play. Nicely done to get out of the inning. Let's move to the sixth inning. Lady Mavs' Megan Gray hits the same short fly ball to center. Harrison's Haley Baker. How about that? Laying out for the ball to make a diving catch for his own. Same inning runner at second. Meg Teller finds the hole between short and third. Megan Milliken rounds third but stays there. Bases loaded with two outs. That brings up Tristan Wilcox, and she hits one to the outfield, but Jordan Garrett there to make a big catch. Harrison gets out of the inning. Great pitching by Morgan Stevens, and then they get some runners on base. Brooke Jordan at third for Harrison. Jordan Dubois lays the bunt down, and Jordan is safe at the plate. That is Brooke Jordan, and the Raiders would close it out from there, holding McCutcheon the final inning, and congratulations to the Raiders. They win the sectional championship. There's your final. One to nothing. It was just good, not all around. And we knew coming in that it'd be a close game. Uh, we didn't necessarily want it to be close, but man, we'll take that 1-0 victory. It's been a long time waiting. Um, Morgan and I both have been on this team for four years, and we have two other seniors that have stepped up. And we're man, it's just we've been waiting this for four years, and it's great to get it senior year. One of the best things is to come out and pitch with runs because you know you can make mistakes and you can trust your teammates to back you up. And so it was a little nice to come out with that one run, but one run isn't much cushion, so we knew we had to play tight and we did the job, and that was the best thing was just doing the little stuff. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of speechless. I don't know. It's just we've been a long time coming for the past couple of years, and it's always been a good game, and just we pulled out the one, and that's all we needed. I didn't believe it at first. It's just as a freshman, it's just really I, it's amazing. All right, Logan Support and Lafayette Jeff in sectional baseball. The Berries' Nate champion on the mound first inning. He helps himself by getting not one, not two, but three strikeouts in the first inning. Top of the second inning, a runner at third after those strikeouts. Tyler Robbins grounds out to first base. Logan Sport goes for the out at first, but DJ Frederick comes in to score. Jeff leads one nothing. Then Matt McKay answers. He hits the long one to left field, and that scores. Chris Titus to tie the game at one, and Logansport would go on to win this one by a final of 6-4. to four. They advance to face Kokomo. More baseball out at Delphi. The Oracles taking on Fountain Central, and the Oracles getting on the board of the second inning. Neil Snowberge grounds out, but Carson Bender scores, and they take that one nothing lead all the way into the sixth inning. But the Mustangs, oh, they explode in a big way in the sixth inning. Seven runs. K.M. Seymour singles into left. That plates a pair of runs. Brent Nelson seen scoring there a moment ago. Then later, Taylor or Tyler Lawson, I should say, cranks a double out to the wall and right. A couple of more runs score. And the Mustangs would bat around in the inning. And finally, it's Trent Spear singling into right. Lawson coming around. He beats the throw. Fountain Central wins at 8-4, to four and they will play Carroll Monday night at 7 o'clock. Sectional baseball action. Zach Stewart homered twice. Matt Wolf homered and was the winning pitcher in Attica's win over Covington. Northwestern edge Twin Lakes. Pioneer defeated Tri-County. And West Central downed South Newton. Boys regional track and field action tonight at Lafayette Jeff's Schumann Stadium. And let's show you what's been happening there. Good relay for the host school. Lafayette Jeff anchored right here by Desmond Lake, the 4 by 100 meter relay. They win it. They're headed to state. In the 400 meter dash, Zach Sigmund, he's in the green uniform right there. He finishes third. He qualifies for state. Nice going for the Bison student athlete. 200 meter dash, West Lafayette's Aaron Woodard. He finishes second here. He also qualified in the 100 meter dash. So he's headed to two events, the 100 and 200. Carmel, your team champ, Jeff was fourth, McCutcheon seventh, Harrison eighth, West Lafayette tenth. Other area individual state qualifiers include Shane, Shane White of Lafayette Jeff in the shot put and disc it. Um, McCutcheon's Evan Baumas and Attica Zach Little in the high jump. McCutcheon's Al Escalera shown right there in the 3200. Harrison's Dan Hall in the shot put. McCutcheon's Scott Fiddler in the pole vault. Twin Lakes Grant Billings in the 100. Frankfurt's Andrew Ramos in the 1600. And Crawfordsville's Trace Cotton in the 110 hurls. And finally, Central Catholic.